little bit of a lopsided back four maybe and here's Parsons away down the left hand side he's gone into the box that's a really good challenge and a handball by Parsons as well that's really good defending and for a moment there the dock looked to be in, under a bit of pressure but Zach Johnson the new man in did really well there showed us a lot of pace to get back because Parsons is no slouch David yeah and the two lads in the middle were, were breaking Asamo and, and Ammon so there was an opportunity there if he, if he could get the ball across there play again it's Hayden Muller who took the ball off Asamo before he could break out and here's Robbie Benson Bagley's tracking him can he get the shot away Benson he can oh, it's a good save by Sargent did really well there Benson he, not much room to get the shot away with Bagley on his back and that's a, a good positive start from the dock's point of view and a good save by Sargent David yeah brilliant turn on just sort of inside uh, Waterford's half and Benson the way he took it on his back foot turns his defender and say it all the time about forgetting about batters also putting them behind him but it is really important and that's brilliant from Benson he's won it back and the shot comes in and it was a good effort as well from McGuckin but Robbie Benson and we saw Barry Bagley against Straha to pretty much run the show in midfield but he didn't get much time there David and maybe he's a player that they look to target Dundalk in terms of stopping Waterford playing but Robbie Benson did really well there to close him down and a decent effort from McGuckin that's the real Durant again ball in field to Benson gets a back turn. can he get a shot away here he's still on his right foot oh it's just gone over the bar but again decent play from Dundalk they have looked at threat in this early part of the game Durant cutting in from the left hand side just getting a little bit of space thought he was going to wind up for the shot sooner than that but the space was closed down in fairness to him it was Horton who came across visit at Durant he took a touch and he's trying to make a run here at Horton gets it onto his left foot cross it towards the back post but he just couldn't wrap his foot around it enough and it's gone out for a goal kick but again Archie Davies just injecting a little bit of impetus into the move and fizzing a great ball across here to Durant who's shown little spurts of what he can do but the cross there just he just couldn't as I say wrap his foot around it and drifted over the bar but Davies yeah. cutting in field again back towards Benson just outside the box Muller slips one down the line the shot comes in from Durant oh it's a brilliant save it's broken back it's going to end up in the net it's going up, it's gone up in the air oh it was a brilliant one hand save by Sargent and Dock still have it but what a good, good chance for Durant really the first real clear cut chance for Dundalk um, Muller slips him in very well hits it well good one handed stop and I thought Benson might follow up and finish he's kind of scuffed it a wee bit and, and Waterford managed to, to scramble it clear I think it was McCourt who got his head on that one and got it away but a really good save from Sam Sargent there good strike from Durant and the Waterford keeper got his right hand up and blocked it away and now the uh, fourth official has shown a red card to one of the Dundalk he slips it to Durant, not the first time those two have combined. Here is Durant again, drew that fine save from Sargent a few moments ago, tries to curl it around to the far stick and just not enough whip on it. But once again, number two and number 22 are uh, adding up to danger for Waterford and a really good effort from Durant again there. And well past, though, well, not well past the far post. It wasn't in any immediate danger for Sam Sargent, but Davies like away again on one of those buccaneering runs so uh, influential in that first half with a few of the runs he gets away with the shot with the left foot it's not his favourite one but again we said it in the first half David and it seems that Archie Davies is single-handedly determined to make the breakthrough here for the dog either with a shot of his own or setting somebody up with a great run again forward from him yeah it's been a, it was a scrappy start for the dog to be honest didn't really have any pressure on and was able to take a touch and get his head up a little bit more pressure on him this time around McGuckin gets the shoulder in and the header at the near post from Hammond it was a good effort as well from a difficult position that's what he can do Barry Gamma just couldn't direct it onto the target, but considering the pace the ball was coming at him at, he, uh, he did pretty well to turn it onto the goal or anywhere near it, David. Side yeah. from the southeast, but it's all ancient history now. And here comes the dock down the right hand side. It's a good ball in. Well, we talked about forgoing McCookins attacking Flair, but that was a peach of all in. And Sargent looked a little bit lost. It went over his head. Good play from uh, McGuckin there, David. Yeah, I assumed it was Davies with the cross because of the what a good ball it was, but from an attacking point of view now here's an opportunity for Dundalk Durant gets the shot away again just not enough power on that when he was being closed down and it goes safely into the hands of Sam Sargent who dives on it and uh, Mayoa Anna Masahoon is back thankfully from that concussion Keith Long leaves here with a draw he, I think he'll be reasonably happy um, you know from a oh and now Gullen is away can he get there again the touch was just a little bit heavy in fairness to him, the ball was behind him when it came to him. He had to take it on the run, and it just got away from him a little bit. And Sam Sargent, a little bit like Ross Munro in the first half, was out quickly to shut down the space. But slightly more promising signs it was a good through ball, and Gullen just couldn't quite take it in his stride. It was a difficult one to take in, David, in fairness. Yeah. And Dock and break here. Scott High finding uh, plenty of space, and he's got McGuckin making a run down the right hand side. Durant to the left, he slips it to McGuckin. Now can Dundalk do something with this? The cross comes into the near post, and it's just knocked out for a goal kick. It's come off. Gullen. He hits the ground, he's holding his left knee. 
But again, good opportunity for Dundalk. Sorry to text on the health of Jamie Gullen. And it was across from McGuckin. In fairness to Gullen, he was in there on his own. It was a defender right beside him. Good defending from Radkowski it was. But again, very few opportunities in this second half for either team. Here's Cameron Elliott trying to combine with Daryl Horgan. Horgan does really well. And he's gotten away from the challenge of O'Keefe. Now here's Elliott. Can he get the shot away? He's inside the box. It's opened up for him. Oh, and a great save by Sargent. It was very close to the water for keeper. But he did really well to get down to his right-hand side, and the referee's given a free kick, but if Elliot just could have put it a little bit more to either side, David, it was surely the lead for the dog. Yeah, he kept his composure well. He could have pulled the trigger early, but he kept moving it. Inside to Asamoah, approaching the edge of the box, and he created a little bit of a space, space for the shot. He can when roll through himself down to his left. I think he had that one covered. But again, a good bit of play from Asamoah. We were saying earlier, David, he'd been reasonably quiet in this second half, but that's all it takes from him is a little flash of brilliance. Yeah, it was a... Uh, clips it over to the far side. Here's O'Kane. Waterford defender slipped inside the box. Can O'Kane get the shot away with his left foot? Oh, it's a good save by Sargent. Again, one you'd expect him to make, but good play from O'Kane. Get it onto his left foot. And uh, Sergeant bats it away, and again the crowd below, below us here raise their voices. And McCourt's going to have to try and come and close him down. He gets it onto his left foot. He has a good look up, and it's in towards Evans. It was Radkowski who got his left foot on that one. Also, Bendy Shirley goes oh, free out. Goodness. Well, the referee's right beside it, and he is uh, presumably interpreted that as a dive. But I'll be very interested to see that one again, David. Yeah, I thought it was the other way, to be honest. But uh, we we'll look at the replay. Here it is again. Radkowski got his foot to it. And it was... Uh, ooh, I'm not sure. It was O'Keefe. It is finished in a nil-nil draw between Dundalk and Waterford. Reaction, of course, to come on LOI TV.